Is that even what I want to talk about? Beats me. I don't know what the fuck I want to talk about. I want to talk about how my hat exploded. That's what I want to talk about. And Gucci hat exploded. Let's talk. So, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the format um, of these videos or not, but I'm just trying new things and I'm still trying to get my foothold in this whole YouTube uh, environment. So I'm just gonna be experimenting with stuff for the next couple of months probably. Anyways, a couple days ago I went out and I strapped the GoPro on and walked around and shot around my neighborhood. Um, if I can't make it to a specific location a lot of the times, and I haven't shot yet in a day, I'll typically go outside uh, with my camera and just walk around the neighborhood, shoot houses, maybe catch interesting light, whatever. And I got maybe three pictures that are decent, zero pictures that are great. Um, honestly, probably zero pictures that are good. but you're still in the act of putting the camera up to your eye and trying to make an image out of nothing. And that's kind of the topic that I want to focus on for this little blurb of a video. So I'm going to be playing some clips from that as I talk, but the number one thing that I want to uh, at least give as food for thought for people is when you're out shooting, you don't have to always get something. Sometimes the act of just pulling your camera up to your eye, looking at compositions, playing with the light, sometimes that's the benefit in and of itself. Uh, every time you pick up that camera and you use it, you're getting better. It, it might not feel like it sometimes. For me, it doesn't feel like it a lot of times, but just know, every time you pick up that camera, you're getting better. So the more that you pick that camera up, and the more that you pull that viewfinder to your eye, and you look at compositions, and you click that shutter, or don't click that shutter, you're improving. And that's really all you can ask out of art, is to improve. Uh, there's these cliches that kind of occur when you're new at something. Uh, that's why a lot of film school kids make the same 
student film uh, or just like explore the same topics. That's why a lot of photographers take the same pictures. Have any of you guys ever taken a picture of a train track? There's, there's a lot of photos that could be seen as cliche. And to anyone out there who's new at photography, they don't understand that those are cliche yet. So cliche is not a bad thing though. And the only way to overcome it is to get out there and experience those cliches. Uh, I go back on my uh, Instagram or uh, whatever, look, look through my old Lightroom catalogs and you're gonna find hundreds of photographs that would classify themselves as cliche. Uh, every time I pick up the camera though, I go and I'll experience something and typically that gives me a better understanding of what's possible. Um, the more you do that, the more you experience those things, the better you're gonna get because then you know like, okay, been there, done that, didn't do much for me, how can I make it better? What you're almost doing is programming your mind and your eye to see things in, in a unique way. Now, I, I talked about walking around my neighborhood. I think it's important to go out and shoot boring areas. So when I first picked up a camera, or I guess at the time it was my iPhone, and started seriously kind of considering what was coming through that viewfinder and what images were being made, I, I, I kind of felt, I don't know. You look on Instagram and you see people in New York City and you see these exciting pictures of skyscrapers and I don't know, like models and sunsets and all of the bullshit that everybody puts up on Instagram and has put up on Instagram. You see all of these things, all of the bullshit branding out there. And it's the coolest thing ever. And you're like, wow, that's amazing. I'd love to take a photo like that. You think that that's a good photo because of where it is. And then in my case, I was living in a small town at the time. So I see that and I'm like, oh wow, those are great photos. And then I look around at the town that I lived in and I see nothing. I mean, <laughs> there's nobody. It's a small town. It's not that interesting. It's kind of kind of dirty, you know? And that got me down. I was like, there's nothing to shoot. And I was so wrong. That was a complete product of inexperience. The, a great photographer can take anything and find beauty in it and find interest in it. And that's what you're training your eye to eventually kind of get to, is to be able to find that beauty in any situation, whether that's a, a red bicycle that's being caught just right by the sun that's leaning against somebody's porch, or whether that's the person that you've walked by a thousand times and you've never thought about and uh, suddenly you look at them and think, oh wow, that person is so interesting. I wonder what their story is and you take their picture. I mean, that's, that's the beauty. It's not, just because of photos of a building or a bridge or whatever, doesn't mean it's a good photo. And a lot of times the garbage that's out there, especially on Instagram, is just products of that mindset. The greatest photos of all time, they're great photos because the photographer has figured out how to present something human in that photo. And the viewer is able to pick up on that and you're able to kind of transfer that humanity from medium to observer. And that's, that's the goal. And uh, you can do that wherever. You don't have to be in anywhere exciting to do that. Reiterating kind of what I spoke about in the beginning of the video, just go, take your camera out and walk around and don't always expect that you have to, or don't always think you have to get something great or else it's a waste because it's not. Every time you pick up that camera, you're getting better at taking photos. Uh, same goes for any art form, including filmmaking, uh, writing, um, <laughs> painting, whatever. Every time you, you do that thing, you're getting better, even if it feels like you're not. And the reason you're getting better is because you're experiencing 
you're learning, you're figuring things out, you're, you're doing things, you're making mistakes, you're learning from those mistakes, and you're moving on. That's all it is. That, that's all growth is uh, at the end of the day. So uh, don't let your environment limit you, point one, or point two, I guess, and then point one, don't be afraid to just go out and shoot uh, because every time you pick up the camera, you're going to get better. So those are just two things that have been on my mind. Uh, enjoy the random cuts of footage. You'll see we didn't really get any photos, but I, uh, I think it's, a, uh, it's an interesting thing, um, especially for new photographers. It's so easy to get caught up in, uh, in what's popular out there, and you can kind of forget to see the beauty around you. So anyways, sorry for rambling. Uh, I'm going to get better at being uh, concise and talking to a camera, but the only way I'm going to do it is by doing it. So it's the whole point of this thing. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. I will talk to you next time.